Hey everyone and welcome back to Budget with Alicia. Um, if you're new here, hi, I'm Alicia, I'm 24, I live in Canada and I do make budget videos. Um, I will be doing some other videos coming up which are going to be re really really exciting so make sure to subscribe down below so that you don't miss any of my uploads and make sure to give this a big like. Um, I did have a couple things I wanted to talk about before I get into the cash envelope stuffing portion of the video and that is uh, two separate things. One thing I want to talk about was um, sinking funds in general. I wanted to talk about why I do them and why I think other people should also do them. Um, for example, I mean, I wanted to come on here and kind of talk about Christmas and how Christmas is now pretty pretty soon. Um, but when if you want to start preparing for next Christmas, it would be awesome to start a sinking fund at the beginning of the year. Um, and this is the best time to kind of get ready and start to prepare for that. Um, I will explain kind of how I decide how much money I want for my sinking funds um, in another video in December. But I did want to talk about that and also for other things. Like I wanted to talk about the fact that in the last couple of weeks I've had a couple of big expenses and I didn't have to worry anything about them because I had saved for them ahead of time. And it really kind of had an aha moment for me because I was like, oh my gosh, like I never used to be that way, just like many, many people are, um, to save for things ahead of time. So for example, I had saved for Delilah, my kitten, to be spayed, so I didn't have to worry about that expense. I went to um, the dentist, didn't have to worry about that expense, and I also got my snow tires put on because I am in Canada, like I said. Um, so obviously we need snow tires here. So I got those put on and that expense also was covered. I didn't have to worry about any of that stuff, which is so awesome. And I feel like it's just a big stress relief to not have to worry about those things. And so I just kind of wanted to talk about it and kind of say like, if you're thinking about it, like the new year's coming up and it's a good time to start incorporating things that matter to you. Now, obviously I put funds into a lot of different funds. Like you don't have to have so many sinking funds, but I would think like if you have a car, a car maintenance sinking fund is a great idea. Um, if you want to buy Christmas presents next year, it's also way easier to decide, okay, I need $500 for Christmas. Divide that by your 26 pay periods. If you're paid bi-weekly, there's 26 um, or whatever pay period you are paid and kind of save that amount each time, put it into an account or take it out in cash like I do and put it in a sinking fund, little envelope, um, any of that kind of thing and just put it aside. That way you don't have to try and find $500 in December for Christmas gifts, right? Um, so it just kind of makes life a little bit easier. So I just wanted to kind of talk about that and talk about how much stress was taken off of me the last couple of weeks because I didn't have to worry about those things. And I just think that that's super, super important. And I think that a lot of people, um, could definitely incorporate these things and have a lot of like stress um, taken care of for that. Um, I know that a lot of people on this have a, an emergency fund, which I am currently on baby step three, if you count the Dave, three, <laughs> if you count the uh, Dave Ramsey plan, um, which means that I am still working on finishing off my emergency fund, um, my three to six months of expenses. And I'm almost done that. I'm hoping to be done by the end of the year, but I may be off by an extra month or so but we'll see kind of what happens and but I think on top of that once you have an emergency fund whether it's, it's your um, mini emergency fund the thousand dollars or your fully funded emergency fund once you have those certain things are not emergencies certain things you know are going to come up and they don't need to be an emergency obviously if your transmission blows or like something major happens to your car those are things that would be considered an emergency they happen right away Things like oil changes, things like getting your plate sticker, things like Christmas, those are things you can plan for. They come around, you know when they are, or you know roughly when they'll be, or what roughly the cost is, and you can plan for those things, which is something that I think that we should all kind of do. Now that I'm done my rant about that, um, another thing I wanted to say, mention quickly is thank you, thank you so much for 100 subscribers. I cannot even believe that it's been about... June, July, August, September, October, November. So it's been six months and I've gotten 100 subscribers, which is just amazing. I am gonna be working on doing a giveaway in December. So keep a lookout for that. So like I said, subscribe down below so you don't miss that. And also follow me on Instagram. It's Budget with Alicia. Um, I'll link that down below as well so that you can find me and it'll also be on there. So make sure to follow me as well. But let's get into this week's stuffing. 
All right, like always, we are going to start with our extra change. Now, this is the first time I think ever that I have no money left in any of my envelopes. The reason for that is because I did drive around a little bit more than I normally do. Um, so I used all my gas money and I also bought a bunch of snacks and stuff for work. So I did spend like all my food money and yeah, so I have no money left except for all this change, which there is quite a bit. There's probably like at least, sorry, you probably couldn't hear that. There's probably like at least $20 in here, if not more. There's quite a few toonies and loonies. So there is actually some money left over, but like we know, we put this in our change compartment. So let's do that and then we'll keep get going with this paper. Area. Alright, so that is cleaned out and we're good to go for that next pay period. We'll move these guys out of the way. You guys all seem to really enjoy um, last time's video um, where we kind of just did like some more chatty talk through type stuff. So I thought I would do that again today. I brought a drink. So get yourself a drink. Um, it's just ginger ale. <laughs> it's like noon right now um, on Saturday, but I got my Christmas glass out. I got this from Dollarama so budget friendly um but yeah you guys seem to really like um the more chatty um and just then without the um zoom like the i'm losing my train of thought today guys sorry um without the f the fast forwarding and stuff so i'm just going to continue to do that um so let me know down below if you did like it and give this video a big thumbs up if you do like um the the less fast forwarded version of things so that I can kind of talk more because I did find when I was trying to fast forward I tried not to talk while I was writing the the cards out just because then my voice got muffled um so this way I can actually kind of talk a little bit more so before we get started look at how cute this candle is my favorite brother bought it for me shouldn't say favorite brother um but <laughs> since I have more than one but he got me this candle and it's giving me Christmas vibes. It's giving me Slytherin vibes. It's just the greatest thing. It smells like men's cologne. It's so beautiful. Um, so I'm so grateful for that. I just finally just now um, started it up for the first time. We got it about a month ago or so, but I was waiting for Christmas. So we're getting closer to Christmas now. So I thought I can start lighting it up now, right? <laughs> um, Actually, on, on the topic of my brother, before we get started, he does have a podcast, and honestly, I, guys, I think you guys would really like it. It's not in the finance sector. They kind of talk about everything he does with his girlfriend, um, and it's it's just really, really good. It's on Spotify podcast. It's on Apple podcast. There's also a live version where you can watch them talk and everything on YouTube, so I will call, um, put down below in the description box um, the information for that and how to find it, and I think you guys really like it. They just talk about some really interesting topics. They talk about their personal lives and like their personal situations with things and their personal opinion on things and it's just it's really good I watch it every single Monday morning so I think you guys would also really enjoy it because I know that um even though we're big budgeters we also have other you know things we want to do and other hobbies and other things we enjoy so I thought I would um shout them out a little bit because they're awesome and I love them and they're my biggest support system so I want to make sure that I shout them out on here but I will put them down in the description below all right so let's get started we'll put the money out here move these guys out of the way I will be changing up um, the videos for December also. We'll talk about that at the end of the video. So make sure to keep watching so that you know all about what's going to happen in December because there's some big changes happening for the month of December on my channel. All right, so there we go. I'm going to bring this down so we'll be able to see to write the cards. I might have to back this up a little bit. Move this guy out of the way. Mm 
There we go. That should work. All right, so let's get started. So first we'll start with our cash envelopes like always. Um, and we will start with food. So food's going to get 65, kind of random. I just decided to give myself about five extra bucks um, than I normally do. Just trying to get this camera angle right here. Here we go. What is today's date? I don't even know. 21st, I think. 65. Let me down. Let me know, guys, on Instagram or on um, um down below how much you guys give yourself um, biweekly for food. Um, I'm kind of interested. Like, I'm a single person, and I also don't pay for all of my food items. Um, I do pay for quite a few of them, but I don't pay for all of them. Um, so I do. I am able to kind of push that back a little bit but I do know that a lot of more people have like a higher food budget and stuff so I'm just curious what your guys's food budget is I'm also a single person so I'm sure a lot of you guys have significant others or kids or whatever so I'm kind of interested on how much you guys have to spend for groceries and stuff so next is gas and I'm going to be putting 40 in here this time I'm going to do that with a 20 and two 10s just because I think I don't have enough 20s to go around. <clears throat> Next is spending and spending is going to get 15. I decided to kind of meet myself in the middle. I was giving myself 20, but I feel like that's a little bit much, but I also feel like, um, or sorry, I was giving myself 20, and I thought that was too much, and I thought that 10 was too little, so I thought I'd go with 15 this time. And finally is giving. So giving, I don't um, push over, or I keep it um, and continue it to the next pay period, so... Um, this time I'm going to give it $5 and it'll have 25 So we got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Perfect. Now there's one thing that we will be changing for the month of December. I will not be using this fund anymore. So once this, uh, once the end of the of November happens, I will be putting this away and just putting it into my safe. Um, because I do have my Christmas giving envelope that I will be using in December to do quite a few different things. And so I want to just kind of save whatever's left in here for the new year. So I'm just not going to use it and I'm also not going to fund it. Um, so it will be disappearing as of the um, next pay period until the new year. But that's one diff or one change that will be made. But I will go through the other ones with you um, at the end of the video. So the next is budgeting. It does say budgeting YouTube, but this is mostly just for um, getting my new budget supplies for next year or next. Yeah, next year, I guess. <laughs> um, I'll be putting five. So that's 15. Um, so that I can get if I decide to do new envelopes and get different paper or whatever and to do all that kind of stuff. Um, That'll just kind of pay for that stuff, as well as the giveaway um, that I did talk about in my intro there. Um, I will be doing a giveaway in December, so that'll also help pay for that as well. Next is gifts. Gifts I did take some money out of, but it'll be getting 20. So it has 120 right now, so 11. So it should have 140. So we got 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Perfect. I don't think I have another birthday or gift thing other than Christmas gifts, obviously, which is separate um, until March, I think, unless I'm forgetting something, but I think so. 
Um, next is makeup and hygiene. I did also buy a couple of things for that. I bought some hair oil and deodorant and toothpaste. So I did spend $20. Um, so we will be putting $10 in there. Which will bring us up to 65. Twenty, forty, fifty, sixty-five. Perfect. Next is car maintenance. Um, I did say in my intro that I did get my tires um, put on my car, so I did spend one hundred and five dollars. Um, but so we will be putting twenty in like normal, which should be two twenty. One, fifty, sixty, eighty, a hundred and twenty. Perfect. Next is shopping trip, and I will be putting fifteen dollars in here. So that should be one oh five. Fifty, seventy, ninety, a hundred, five, ten, fifteen. What the frick? Okay, wait. Fifty, seventy, ninety, a hundred, five, ten, fifteen. No. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> 50, 70, 80, 90, 95, 105. I was going to say, oh my goodness, I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> okay, so that's good. Next is dental, which will be getting $25. I am starting to save up for my wisdom teeth because I know they're going to cost me a fortune, so I'm starting now. So that should be two twenty. Hopefully. So we got a five and we got a twenty. Perfect. So it is fifty, one, twenty, forty, sixty, seventy, eighty, eighty-five, ninety, ninety-five, two. 5, 10, 15, 20. Perfect. I'm also getting a couple of fillings in a couple of weeks too, which I'm super stressed about. And I'm not sure if my mom's insurance will cover it. Um, I am technically on her insurance until December 31st. I will be getting my wisdom teeth out before then, more than likely, unless they can find me a quick spot to do so. Um, but with COVID and everything, they're pretty backed up as it is. So I probably won't be getting it until sometime in the new year. Right now, they're not hurting me or anything. So I will probably put it off until I have the money saved up. But I do want to get it saved up as soon as I can. Finally is miscellaneous, which is going to get $10. I did have to buy a phone charger. Remember I talked about this. I said miscellaneous is for if I need to buy a phone charger. And I had to buy a phone charger. So I am down to $5 right now. So I'm going to do, it's going to be 15. So 5, 10, 15. All right. So that's all of that. This $100 is for rent. I don't have my rent envelope on me. So I'll just put this to the side. One thing I did want to talk about, I'm going to bring this closer. So it's like a little heated talk about the channel and what's going to be happening in December. Um, I'm super, super excited. So one major big thing is that I'm not going to be contributing to my sinking funds in December. Um, the only exception to that is going to be a couple of things. One, dental. Two, car maintenance and possibly gifts, but probably not. And I will also be contributing to budgeting just next pay period because I don't have enough money in there right now. Um, but my December is a three month, pay, three month paycheck. 
And my goal is to not fund it because it is the last month of the year. So I'm trying not to fund any sinking funds or just the bare minimum of ones I actually need to sink um, or fund or <laughs> whatever. Um, because I want to put as much money as I possibly can towards my goal of finishing off my emergency fund before the end of the year. I still am not sure if I will end up with enough income to, to do it. Um, I will also have my vacation payout, but I am taking 10 days off work. Um, some of them are paid because of the way it falls with Christmas, but, and a couple of them are weekends. Um, but I will have maybe four or five days that are unpaid. So that's what my vacation payout will also go towards. Will just be normal bills that have to be paid. Uh, and I have lower paychecks kind of thing. But I will hopefully be able to finish off my goal of having $5,000 in my emergency fund by the end of December. But we will see how that goes. But in order to try and do that, um, I am going to limit my sinking funds as much as possible. So I will only be doing the ones that I find are the most important like dental I want to make sure that I keep contributing to it so that I can get my wisdom teeth out um and car maintenance is kind of low right now and you just never know I do have really old cars so I want to continue to do that um and the budgeting I still have some few a few things I need to buy for my new budgeting um setup for next year so I will have to kind of put that in there plus the giveaway um so I will have to put a little bit of money in there and then the only other thing I'm going to be doing will be that if I have money left over from gas, food, spending, giving, that kind of stuff, I will put those into sinking funds. So if I have any additional money left over, then those will go in whatever other sinking funds I want to contribute to, but there won't be any money specifically contributed to them, if that makes sense. Now, the big question is, if we're not doing cash envelope stuffing videos, what are we going to do? in December. There's going to be quite a few different things that are going to be super, super exciting. Um, they will start or end with the few funds that I do have to stuff just so you guys can still see it. But because the video will be so low, um, or so, so short to just stuff like my cash envelopes and a couple others, there will be quite a few different ones. One, I'm going to try and do a vlog of, should I tell you? Should I? Um, there's gonna be a couple things. I am gonna go over um, the, sorry, I just had a brain fart. Um, I'm gonna go over my new budgeting workbook that I'm gonna be using for next year. I'm gonna go over that. Um, I am gonna show everybody my cost breakdown and my gifts that I bought everybody for Christmas. That'll co go up probably on Boxing Day um, or the day after that, just so that I know that anyone can watch it if they want to, and they're not going to spoil their gifts because then they would have already received them. So that's good. Um, and then I might do a vlog dot, 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 of, um, me going and doing my Christmas giving. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, I'm going to drink here. One second. So I will be contributing money to a few different things. And doing a couple things so I thought maybe I'll bring you guys along for the journey a little bit and kind of do a little vlog style type thing. I don't have a vlog camera or anything. I literally use my cell phone to make these videos. So we'll see how it kind of turns out and if it's worth it. If not, maybe I'll just post something on Instagram. So make sure to follow my Instagram. Um, and then I might also throw in a couple of other type videos as well. We'll see. We'll see. But anyways, um, until next time, I will see you guys in two weeks and we'll kind of go from there. All right, guys. So guys, have a, have a safe uh, couple of weeks. If you're in Canada, stay warm. I think it's going to start snowing. We had a bit of an Indian summer and now I am worried about the snow, but <laughs> that's okay. Um, so I'm going to go and work on some Christmas gifts today and uh, maybe watch some Christmas movies with my Christmas candle and my Christmas cup. Seems like something I would do. So <laughs> have a good weekend, everybody. Or I guess this is going up on Monday. So have a good week. Bye.